Hello there wonderful people, welcome back to another video. So it has been a while since I've done a natural hair video. Um, it has been more than, well, more than a year since I last did a video with my natural hair. And I know that I haven't filmed uh, my natural hair video, Big Chop. But um, I wanted to give you a quick update. This is about two years, roughly two years later now. Um, I wanted to show you how my hair has grown, how um, I have taken care of it, all the products that I've used and if there is any changes. I know I've done a video previously just giving you some tips and advice on how to take care of your natural hair. But this is just a quick update if there's anything that's changed, if there's anything that I've tried new um, and if there's any differences and just to give you a, a reveal of my hair as well. I wanted to um, just recap and just kind of go back and just give you some new advice as well. So number one, um, always do protective hairstyles. Now I know I've done um, protective hairstyles back to back, back to back, but that's because my hair is at a certain length right now where I want it to just kind of, to me it's an, at an awkward length, you know, I mean I know there is a lot that I can do with my hair, but I prefer my hair to be a little bit longer, um, so I've been doing a lot of weaves and braids as well. But I do give my hair a break in between. So if you can give your hair at least, you know, at least a week or two break, and in between those breaks, you also need to do um, treatments, um, deep conditioning treatments as well. Stay away from heat as much as possible. Now, if you do need to blow dry your hair, please go ahead and do so. But you know, try to use maybe some heat protector, use some natural oils and serums and things like that on your hair. And um, if you can also stay away from straightening it as much as possible, but if you need to, if you want to, you can go ahead. Um, but yeah, just try and stay away as much as possible because heat can cause damage to the hair, cause breakage, especially on the ends. Make sure you do um, deep conditioning treatments. So in between your protective hairstyles, make sure you do some deep conditioning treatments and also add some oils in your conditioners as well. Always use a satin wrap before you go to bed. Make sure you wrap your hair. and This is just to help um, any cotton that you maybe um, have on your pillow, just to help it to not soak out the moisture of your hair and help it to kind of keep it, uh, well, it basically seals in the moisture and stops friction. So obviously if your hair, if you tend to have um, quite dry hair, um, this just helps to stop any friction and causing your hair to break, especially on the ends. So keep your hair trimmed, only trim it if necessary, don't keep trimming your hair like every six weeks just because it says or just because your stylist has said to you know trim your hair every six weeks, trim your hair if necessary, it depends also on how, um, how your hair grows as well, if your hair doesn't grow that fast um, if, you, if, if it's naturally quite healthy hair, you don't need to trim it. Trim it if you see that you have split ends and if it's necessary. Also, if you're going to do protective hairstyles, um, make sure you do, um, if you're going to do braids, not to do really tight braids because, you know, I don't like tight hair. If I can't sleep, I will take it out. I will take it out. I'm not going to be tolerating tight hair. I just think that why put yourself through that pain? Why put yourself through that pain? No. And plus it weakens your edges. It weakens your edges so much. I know there is there are times when I've done a weave and um, it's not painful, but I can feel the tightness, especially around my edges. And now you can see, now I can see like my edges have gone a little bit thin. So please be careful. Don't make your hair really tight. Yes, we want it to last, but the tight hair, no no don't do it people and also try to use a shampoo and conditioner that is not harsh so if you can find a shampoo kind of like this this is the one i use right now this is a um, biotin and collagen conditioner and uh, shampoo and um, it's by a company called ogx now i use this company quite a lot because i find that their products are really 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 good um now i used the argan oil one before but i find that this one particularly this one it detangles my hair it takes out all the knots i don't have a problem with knots in my hair um when i when i use it as well i find that my hair it's just so soft it's, it's got it's got this extra softness and it's just loose it just loosens all the curls especially if you're a person that has 
really knotty hair like if your hair gets tangled really really easy I suggest getting this shampoo and conditioner yes I know it's a little bit pricey for such a small bottle but trust me you'll um, you know it'd be worth your pennies it'd be worth the money that you spend on it because it really does detangle your hair um, and you don't have to do too much now I remember when I used to do when I did hairdressing I did hairdressing for about one year at college and um, we had to bring in um, you know our shampoo that we normally use now the shampoo at the time that I was using was called olive oil and we had to bring that in just so we can test the shampoo to see if it's really harsh for our hair if it has a high pH level and everyone else shampoo you know came to the normal uh, level that it needed to be but my shampoo however was just it, it was just across it was just too much it was beyond what it needs to be so I said, you know, I'm not using that olive oil shampoo again. And I find that a lot of Afro hair products, they feel like they need to make the products really harsh. Yes, yes, we have thick hair. Yes, we have hair that gets tangled really easy. But we, we don't need really harsh products in our hair. So if we can get something with a low pH level, less harsh in our hair, and if you have to spend that extra money to get a good shampoo and conditioner, do so do so please and I'm not bashing olive oil no I'm not bashing them at all I'm just saying the facts I'm just stating the facts that when I took my shampoo to college one one day it was the pH level was just crazy it was too harsh for my hair so that's my tip spend the money on the products that you know is gonna do wonders to your hair now there is a moisturizer that I use um, and I'm gonna say I used to use the olive oil one the olive oil hair moisturizer but I stopped now the reason why is because I find that the olive oil can clog my hair together causing more tangles causing it to be sticky causing it to be dry at the end of the day because I put the moisturizer in so that I can have a softer hair the curls can flow you know what I mean like I, I, I didn't put it in so that I can cause build up and cause more tangles and at the end of the day it's still dry so that's the reason why I stopped using the um, uh, Cantu so no disrespect to Cantu but I've, I've stopped using them simply because of that reason but I started using this particular conditioner and when I put it on my hair I'm telling you guys this thing makes your hair so soft it's so moist and it's so smooth it's unre unreal and it stays moisturized for a long time it stays soft it, it, it doesn't get dry at all you don't have to keep putting and putting and putting and putting and putting so i have to give credit to this new um leave-in condition that i use so guys i wanted to show you my hair now right now i have a hair piece on so i'm going to take this hair, hair piece off i did wash my hair this morning i don't dry i don't um blow dry my hair i leave it wet practically <laughs> and um yeah so this is my hair now i just want to point out first of all before i show you the proper length um this is the reason why i say stay away from heat now the reason why i have all this random straight bits on my hair is because i've straightened it now when i put my weave in sometimes i do have to straighten my hair so at this middle bit here i have straightened it and for some reason my hair will not revert back to natural for some reason it's just what do I do with it please add a comment in the box below if there is something that I've done wrong and how to get my natural curls back but this is just yeah that looks like heat damage to me I haven't straightened my hair every day for some reason I got this to deal with but anyway I'm just going to ignore it but I'm going to show you the length now. I mean, you can probably see it already. So this is how much my hair has grown. Um, this is, I'd say, this is probably about eight inches, about eight or seven inches. I call it seven inches. So to me, in two years, that's not bad. Now my hair has um, some shrinkage on there. So that's my hair at the top. See, that's the growth at the top, and that's the one at the back I showed you. And now I'm going to show you the side like that. Oops. 
Now I can feel on the ends that my hair might be due for a trim. So for me to see where I need to trim properly, I will, I will have to blow dry it. And I might go for a silk press. I might record it while, when I go for this, my first silk press um, and show you guys um, the proper length of my hair and, and I'll get it trimmed as well. So that is my hair guys. Two years later after my big chop and I don't regret my big chop at all. I don't regret going natural at all. You just have to find what works for your hair. You just have to find um, what products will work. What may work for me might not work for you, but you just have to keep going on this quest of finding what your hair likes. Now I know my hair loves water. When I put water on my hair, it detangles, it just, it just loves water. So what works for your hair, stick with it. You don't need to keep changing unless you feel like the products that you were using are not doing the same thing what it was doing before so if you feel like you need to change change but what works for you just stick to it hey guys so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you liked every tip that i've given you if you do use any of these tips let me know how it's going on your hair and don't forget to like this video share with your family members if you need to and or share with anyone that may need um, this advice and once again thank you so much for tuning into my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is trisha and i do just do i just do hair beauty fashion and um yeah i hope you like my content um i know my channel is not big but um i love my little audience that i have and i will keep entertaining you guys as long as you keep coming in to watch my videos thank you once again and i will see you in the next one Bye bye